success with Boot Scoot and Boogie, I was encouraged to do another line dance, and uh, the diamond is a result of that. What it started out as was a teaching tool for the waltz. So we're going to learn to waltz in this dance. We have a one, two, three kind of tempo. Actually, I'm going to face this way so you can see the moves to start with. Starting with the left foot, bring that step forward, and then next to it, change your weight from right to left. And then we'll step backward with a right, and then next to that, left, right. So, to get into this waltz frame of mind that we need, I would like to just do that a couple times for practice for those of you who aren't very familiar with the waltz. We're stepping forward with left and stepping back on right. And in between those, we have the two, three in place next to where the first foot falls. So, step forward left and then in place right, left, step back right, in place, forward left, two, three, back right, two, three. And take kind of a scoop step into it, back, two, three. Step down and up, and down and up, and down and up, and down and up. That'll give you the feel of the waltz. Okay, now that's how the dance starts. We only do one forward and back. And what that forward step will give us is the center of a diamond that we're going to form on the next few counts. So we'll start by establishing our center point of the diamond with a good size step forward left, in, place, and right, in, place, back. Where we came back, that's going to be our home point of the diamond. Then we're going to form a point to the left of center, forward of center, and to the right of center. So now we will step a quarter turn to the left and establish our first point here with the left foot. And as you know, we'll do it in place, right, left, next to that. Now, we'll step backward to point two, right, left, right. As I did that, I did another quarter turn to the left. We'll progress around the diamond. There's our center point right in the middle. We're not using it right now except as a focus for the four points around it. We'll do another quarter turn as we step forward left and then in place. And right goes back to the starting position, right, left, right. And we're back where we started, back facing the direction we started. Okay, so a little bit quicker without all the words, so you get the idea of that move. Let's start with our forward and back to establish the center point. Forward to center and back to start. First point with left forward, second point is right, back. Third point is left, forward. Fourth point is right, back. And in between each of those, of course, we had our in place two counts. So that's the first element or section of the dance. I'm going to take a break there and let you practice that, and then we'll come back with parts two and three. Each section of this dance starts off with a forward left and a back right waltz step. So and it also serves to separate each section. So now that we've done our forward and back and four points around the diamond, we'll do another forward left into center and back right, okay? Which means we're on to section two. That separated section one from what we're doing now. Section two, we're going to divide that diamond in half. We're going to do the left half of the diamond and come back on that same trail. Then we're going to do the right half of the diamond and come back again on the right side. Okay? Don't change the progression of left forward and right back that we started with. We'll move left to the first point on the left side, left in place, and then we'll go back right in place. Now instead of continuing around the diamond, we're cutting it in half and going back the other way, or back the same route, and we'll step forward left in place and back right in place. 
Now we'll do the same thing on the right side of the diamond, remembering that the left foot leads. Okay? When we step forward, we go left, left, forward, and right, back, and back the same way with left, forward, and right, back. Okay? That ends the second section of the dance. So let's go back and put it all together. So the first section after the forward and back gives you the four points all the way around the diamond. Separate that with the forward and back, then do the left half of the diamond and then the right half of the diamond. Here we go. Ready, and center, two, three, starting point. Point one with left, point two with right, point three with left, point four with right. Forward and back to start the second section, which is the left half of the diamond, back, right, left, forward, back, right. Now the right half is left, forward, right, back, left, forward, and right, back, three. Okay, one more section to go, so have a break there if you like, if not, just continue right on after the break. The third and final section of the diamond starts off like the other two did with your forward left and back right. Always start with the left foot forward, two, three, and back with right, two, three. Now, we're going to use the center point of that diamond that we just established with our forward step left. We're going to use that center point and dance a turn of six steps around it. We're going to step left on a diagonal, two, three, four, five, six. So a six step turn, always back to your left, and you'll never go out of the original four pointed diamond that you formed. And I'm asking you to focus on this center point that we established with that forward step as you do these six steps. Left, right, left, right, left, right. So you'll end up, here's where we started, the first diamond. This is the last step of our first pattern. So we're almost at point one of the diamond that we started with. Now, ending up on the right foot, we can then start our second pattern forward left and back right and that forward step establishes our new center point for the second pattern of the diamond. That's why that forward and back is so important to focus on because that gives you your center point of the new pattern. Okay, so now that we know what the third section was like, that six step pattern, we're going to go back and do the whole dance together at this point. So let's try that. Stepping forward, left, back, right to start. Forward, left, two, three, back, right, two, three. Four points around. One is left, step, two is back, right. Forward, left is three, back, right, and into the center and back. So we can do the second section. Left side of the diamond with left forward, right, back. Back the same way, left, two, three, right, two, three. Now the right half, left, two, three, right, two, three. Back the same way with left, two, three, and right, two, three. Our forward and back, we'll separate that from the six step turn, which is left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, making sure that your last step has turned you to the wall that was originally to your left. And a little clue on how to get there. The first step of your six step turn angles you toward that wall anyway. So you have the rest of the turn, two, three, four, five, six, to come back pointing toward that wall to start the second pattern. Okay, let's take a practice break there. We'll come back and do four walls.
Okay, let's do the diamond around four walls. Ready, and center point, and back to starting point. Four points of the diamond with left, right, and left, and right. Forward and back, forward, two, three, back, two, three, left half, left, and right, and left, two, three, right, two, three, right half, with left, two, three, right, two, three, left, two, three, right, two, three, forward and back to separate. Now the six step turn, left, right, left, right, left, end of the first one, here's the second center point there, here's our starting point. Diamond point one, diamond point two, diamond point three, back to start, forward into the center of the diamond, and back. Same section of the left half of the diamond, left and right. Now the right half, leading with left, back right, leading with left, back right. Forward into the center and back, and we'll set up our six step turn with a slight angle, left, two, three, right, two, three. Start again with a forward and back. That's our center point there. Point one, point two, point three. See how we're dancing around that center point? Forward and back. Now the left half of that point. Left, two, three, right, two, three, left, two, three, right, two, three. Now the right half with left foot and right foot and left forward and right back into the center one more time. The last section is six step turn with left, right, left, right, left, right. Here's our last forward and back. That's the center point there. Point one, point two, point three, point four. Step into the center one more time. To do the left half, left, two, three, right, two, three. Left, two, three, right, two, three. Right half, left, and right back the same way with left and right into the center and back, six step turn, left, right, three, four, five, six, forward to start again and back. Okay, that was around four walls, the diamond. Now, practice that if you like, remembering the center point is the key. Dance around it for the four points and use those points again till you get to the six step turn. Okay, we'll come back with music after this break. Okay, the music that we'll be dancing to is by the Whites, and it's called I Wonder Who's Holding My Baby Tonight. It's an old time waltz, and old time waltzes seem to suit this dance very well. My favorite one, which is faster than this one, which is why I didn't choose it, is Prairie Oyster, Man in the Moon. So if you can get a, a chance to dance the diamond to Man in the Moon, it's a wonderful waltz. So let's try the diamond. <laughs> Is he staying, leaving, or 
Okay, so as you can see, that can be a very nice, easy going dance. Make it as fluid as possible. Whatever you do, don't march those in place weight changes at all. Make it look nice and smooth. Okay, I hope you enjoy that dance called the diamond.